Hi folks and welcome back to the channel and today I'm sat at my breakfast table waiting for my breakfast. No, actually we went out for breakfast. I just finished painting and we decided to go up, up to the Cotswold Edge golf course and have ourselves a breakfast. Now this is an absolutely lovely area to go to. It's right on top of the hill overlooking the Cotswolds. It's banging place for parties and wedding parties. And this is what they cater for. They also do breakfasts and lunches and that type of thing. Let's move on and have a look at what I got. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know exactly what I think about the breakfast. Yeah, let's have a quick look round at where we're at. We're at Cotswold Edge. I've always promised myself we're going to go for breakfast up here and I just finished painting I thought right guys I'm going to go for a breakfast so we just phoned up and what I love it is I just love being on my own really <laughs> right we'll see what breakfast looks like we have to start with we've got our coffees and stuff so breakfast of oil let's have a look mmm yeah that looks lush Mrs Crazy Baker mm. So there we go, folks. Breakfast is finished and I'm stuffed. As you can see by my plate, it's empty. But that was filling, mind you. I can honestly say I've had a breakfast for such a long time, I almost forgot what a breakfast tastes like. Oh, we'll have a look round outside. We're at the golf course. So, so this is the Cotswold Edge. So we're out and we're on top of a hill. This is actually the top of the Cotswolds, basically. And over here is the golf course and they've got lots of golfing around here. And men and ladies all join together and do proper golfing. And they have ladies cups and men's cups. I don't know much about golfing, so it's no point going into it. But as you can see, I think they call it a fairway or something like that, yep. And that's their little potting shed. So when you get up here, they've got a nice big selection of breakfast. Interesting enough, we just went for the full Monty full stop and it was spot on. So what about the breakfast? Well, the eggs, you could tell, were very, very fresh. Also, the bacon was cooked just banging. I mean, that was just, it just got that nice crispiness, but it wasn't overcooked. The sausage was, we could tell, but they were really local sausages. They were proper sausages, if you know my drift. They weren't your normal breakfast sausages, the cheap and nasty things. They were good quality. Now moving on to the baked beans. The baked beans were your standard breakfast baked beans, most likely Heinz. Then we had tomatoes, which is a standard breakfast tomato out of a tin. So there's nothing unusual about that. Now the mushrooms were absolutely banging. They were obviously cooked in butter. They were beautiful. They were, they make the breakfast actually. Now the breakfast would have come with black pudding, but we don't like black pudding, so that was a miss. Now the only thing that I can honestly say would let down the breakfast was the soggy hash brown. And that was only because they put the hash brown right next to the tomato, and the juice of the tomato made it all soggy. So in fact, the hash brown just disintegrated completely. It was a good breakfast, I enjoyed it. It was hot, and with the breakfast came the coffee and tea, now, to top it all off, the price. It was eight quid each, which let's be fair, is absolutely cheap. So you shouldn't actually expect sheds and sheds of stuff for eight quid these days. Because three years ago, this is the first breakfast I've had for about three years, so let's bear in mind, three years ago, I was cooking a breakfast of my own for 10 quid, and you got two of everything, and my plates were massive. Now the price of things have actually gone up, so you've got to bear this in mind. An eight quid, I don't think it's too bad. And for this review, I'm not going to give it any stars or anything. It's just a nice breakfast. And you have to take it like that, because these days, um, if it was horrible, I would tell you straight. There's no question about it. It was a nice breakfast. Nothing to shout about. It was just a real good solid breakfast. And that's the main thing that happens. Um, I'm not going to review things. When I do my pies and stuff, that's different. But when it comes to doing like someone's food, unless it's really bad, I will tell you it's bad. Like I said, the ash browns were like 
soggy, but the breakfast was good. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!